So let's talk area. Specifically, I want to find the area of the figure shown below. Now we're used to getting area of specific shapes like rectangles and squares and triangles, but this shape is a little different. It's an L shape, so it's not a regular geometric shape for which we normally are able to calculate the area. There's lots of ways to actually solve this problem, but one way that I like to do it is to take the shape I'm given and break it up into smaller shapes for which I happen to know the area of. Let's get to work. Let me take this shape and let me break the L into two rectangles. Notice I can see this shape as having a rectangle sitting next to another rectangle. So to get the area for this entire shape, I can simply find the area of the yellow rectangle and the area of the green rectangle. Now is the hard part, actually figuring out what the area is for each of those pieces. So let's break it up to the side. And let's start with this tall yellow rectangle. If I want to find the area for this tall yellow rectangle, I need a width or a base dimension and I need a height or a length. In this case, I have a rectangle that's 2 by 7. The area for a rectangle is length times width, or if we like, base times height. And therefore, the area for this specific rectangle is just 2 times 17, or 14 square centimeters. Good so far. Now we have to take the other rectangle. The other rectangle is a rectangle sitting on its side, laying down, and that's my green rectangle. And I know that my green rectangle is three centimeters high and, oh, whoa, hang on a second. How long is that rectangle? What is the base? What is my base, or if you like, my length along that rectangle? Hmm, well, I have to do a little extra thinking. Okay. So what do I know? I know that eight centimeters spans the entire length of this bottom piece on my figure. But I only want this piece right here. So how can I get it? Hmm, well, I do know that this length here along the bottom left of that yellow rectangle is two. 2 centimeters. And how do I know that? Because in a rectangle, opposite sides are the same. So because my upper measurement up here is 2, that means my lower measurement also has to be 2. Good. Now can I figure out that leftover part? Well, if I have 8 centimeters and I'm taking off 2 centimeters, that gives me the leftover part. That means that this here actually has to be 6 centimeters because 2 plus 6 gives me 8. In other words, this side is 6 centimeters long. Beautiful. Now I can go on and finish calculating the area. The area is the length times the width or the base times the height, so I'm going to multiply 6 times 3, and that's going to give me a total of 18 square centimeters as being the area for that green rectangle. My final step is to get the total area, and to do that, I simply add up the yellow rectangle area plus the green rectangle area. So I'm going to take 14 and I'm going to add to it 18. That gives me a total of 32 square centimeters for the entire L shape. Now, like I mentioned, there's a couple other ways to do it. You can break it up using smaller rectangles, different rectangles. You can either, even make a big square and take away a piece. But this is just one way to look at analyzing how to calculate the area for a weird L shape. If you have any questions, let me know.